In today's tutorial, I'll be making this spiral 12 petal flower with 6 large petals and 6 small ones. For work, you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The foundation ring is made. Now begin the first round. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. And now into the foundation ring single crochet 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Work until you have 23 single crochet stitches made into the ring. Here I made 23 single crochets into the foundation ring. Now complete the first round by making a slip stitch into the chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. Now let's continue the work and begin the next second round. Chain 4 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then chain 6 more for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then triple treble crochet into the second stitch. Yarn over the hook 4 times to work the triple treble. Now skip 1 stitch of previous round. Skip this stitch and triple treble crochet into the second one. Pull up a loop through the stitch, then yarn over and pull through two. Repeat five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now again chain six for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this time treble crochet into the second stitch of previous round. Yarn over the hook twice. For the treble, skip one stitch and work into the second one. Pull up a loop through the stitch, then yarn over and pull through two. Repeat three times. One, two, and three. Now continue and repeat the same. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And triple treble crochet into the second stitch of previous round. Yarn over the hook four times to work the triple treble. Skip one stitch and work into the second one. Then again, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And treble crochet into the second stitch. Yarn over the hook twice, skip one stitch, and work into the second one. Let's take a look. Here we worked a triple treble, then treble, again a triple treble and a treble. In between these stitches I chained 6. Now continue in this way till the end of the round. Let's complete the second round together and begin the last one. After the last triple treble I chained 6. Now complete the round by making a slip stitch into the fourth chain stitch we made in the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4. The second round is ready and we've got the foundation for the flower. As you can see in the round we've just completed, there are six triple treble stitches, these tall ones. 
five trebles and a chain of four on the beginning of the round, which is the same toll as all of the trebles. Now, in the next round, I'll be crocheting petals. So begin round three. Into the first chain space of six, single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then work under the post of the next triple treble stitch. This one. To work over this stitch, turn the work a bit and under the post of triple treble single crochet eight. One, continue, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last single crochet eight. Now, here, this is the first round of single crochet stitches. This single crochet is busy with a triple treble that we've just worked over. You need to single crochet into the next free single crochet stitch of the first round. Now the first row of the first petal is ready. Turn the work to crochet row 2. Skip the first single crochet of previous row and single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Work into the back loop. Then half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. And continue working into the back loops of following stitches. So half double crochet then double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Then double crochet twice into the back loop of the following stitch. One and two. Then treble crochet twice into each of next two stitches. Yarn over the hook two times to work the treble. One and two. Then into the next stitch work the same. Treble crochet one and two. Remember this row I'm working into the back loops of stitches. Then double treble crochet twice into the following two stitches. Yarn over the hook three times to work the double treble. Let me start it over. So work into the back loop, double treble crochet twice into one stitch, one and two. And into the next stitch work the same, double treble crochet twice. One and two. Now continue triple treble crochet twice into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over the hook four times to triple treble crochet. One and triple treble crochet into the same back loop. Two. And now quadruple treble crochet twice into the back loop of the next stitch. Yarn over the hook five times to work the quadruple treble. Work into the back loop of the next stitch. One 
one and quadruple treble crochet one more time into the same stitch all the stitches of this row I've worked into the back loops only at this point the second row of the first petal is ready turn the work to crochet row 3 chain 1 to bring up the yarn skip the first stitch of previous row this one and single crochet into the back loop of the next 16 stitches 1 continue 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and the last single crochet 16 here how the petal looks so far. Now to complete this third row, single crochet two together. Insert the hook into the last single crochet made in row one. You remember it was worked into the single crochet of the first round. Insert the hook in two loops, in a front top loop and in a side loop. Pull up a loop through. Now hold two loops on the hook, then pull up a loop through the next single crochet of the first round. Into the same single crochet we worked the treble. Here you can see this treble. Insert the hook into the same single crochet that the next treble of previous round is coming out of. Pull up a loop through. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through three. Now the third row, the first petal is finished. To complete this petal we need to crochet one more row of single crochet stitches. So turn the work to begin row four. Chain one to bring up the yarn. Skip the first stitch of previous row, the decrease stitch, this one, and single crochet into the back loop of each single crochet stitch across. Remember, work into the back loop of stitches. Work all the way till the end of the row. Now single crochet into the back loop of the last single crochet and now work into the next chain stitch that was made on the beginning of previous row. Into this chain stitch single crochet twice. One and two. Then continue working under the post of quadruple treble stitch. Here it is. Under this post, single crochet 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the last single crochet 9. Then slip into the back loop of the next single crochet stitch of the first row. Here is this first row. So slip into the back loop of the next stitch. The first large petal is ready. This is its back. And let me show you the front. As you can see, this is the large petal. The next one will be smaller. Now, the second petal, we need to start working into the next chain space of six of previous round. Into this chain space. 
For this, move the yarn to the chain space by working slip stitches. Here is the single crochet that we've just worked into. You remember we worked into its back loop. Now work a slip stitch into the free front loop of the same stitch. Now continue and work a slip stitch into each of next two free loops. So slip into the next free loop and into the next one. And now we can continue working into the next chain space of previous round. Begin the next smaller petal. Into the chain space, single crochet 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the last single crochet, 8. Then I'll continue working under the post of this following treble crochet stitch. But first, let's take a look at the first petal. It was worked in 4 rows and it is lying on the first chain space of 6 and the first triple treble stitch. This is the front and this is its back. Now continue round 3. We started the first row of the second petal. Now continue this row. Single crochet under the treble stitch. This one. Under this stitch work 5 single crochet stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now to complete the first row of the second petal single crochet into the next free single crochet stitch of round 1. Here is this Free single crochet, single crochet through. The first row is ready. Now turn the work to the back to crochet the second row. Skip the first single crochet of previous row, this one, and single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Then half double crochet into the back loop of the following stitch. Again, the second row I'll be working into the back loops of stitches. So half double crochet, then double crochet into the next stitch, work into the back loop. Then double crochet twice into the back loop of the following stitch. One and two. Then treble crochet twice into each of next two stitches. So into the next stitch, treble crochet one and two. And into the next stitch work the same. Here I worked into one stitch, now work into the second one. Work into the back loop. Treble crochet one and treble crochet into the next two stitches, double treble crochet twice. Yarn over the hook three times to work the double treble. Work into the back loop of the next stitch. One and double treble crochet into the same stitch one more time. Two, and double treble crochet twice into the back loop of the next stitch. One and two. The second row is ready. Now turn the work to crochet row three. 
Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. Skip the first stitch of previous row and single crochet into the back loop of the next 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then to complete the third row, single crochet 2 together. Insert the hook into the last single crochet made on row 1. It is into the single crochet that is worked into the single crochet of the first round. So insert the hook in two loops, in a front top loop and in a side loop. Pull up a loop through, hold two loops on the hook. Then pull up a loop through the next single crochet of the first round. Into the same single crochet we worked the triple treble stitch. So pull up a loop through that single crochet. You have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through three. We've finished the third row of the second petal. Turn the work to begin the last row, row 4. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. Skip the first stitch, the crease stitch, and single crochet into the back loop of each next single crochet stitch. Work till the end of the row. And remember, work into the back loops of stitches. Now single crochet into the back loop of the last single crochet and now into the next chain stitch that was made on the beginning of previous row, single crochet twice, one and two. Then continue working under this post of double treble stitch. Under this post single crochet seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last single crochet, seven. Then work a slip stitch into the back loop of the next single crochet stitch of the first row. Here is this stitch. Work into its back loop. At this point, the second petal is ready. This is its back. And this is the front. As you can see, the second petal is smaller than the first one. The next third petal will be the same as the first one. And to start the third petal, we need to move the yarn to the next chain space of six. For this, make a slip stitch into the free loop of the same single crochet that we've just worked into its back loop. like this and then slip into each of next three free loops of the first row stitches to reach the next chain space of previous round so slip into the next free loop one then into the next one two and into the next one three now we can begin the third petal start its first row by working into the chain space of six. Single crochet eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then as we did on the first petal, single crochet 8 under the post of the next triple treble stitch. Then continue and follow the same instructions as for the first petal. Here so far I made two petals, the large one and the small one. This is the front. And let's one more time take a look at the back.
Now you need to continue the third row by alternating in between the large and the small petals. By the end of this round, you'll get six large petals and six small ones. So keep making petals till the end of the round. I'm about to complete the third round. I have all of my 12 petals ready. There are six large petals and six small ones in this round. After the last petal was ready, I moved the yarn to the beginning of this round by working slip stitches. And now complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first single crochet. That's it. The flower is ready and you can cut off the yarn. This is a beautiful spiral 12 petal flower. This is the front of the flower. And let's take a look at its back. To the center of your flower, you can add a bead or a nice small crocheted button. To learn how to make the exact same crocheted button, please follow our other tutorial, Tutorial 7, in the playlist Crochet Elements and Projects. For more free video tutorials, please visit our website at SharonEating.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.